Forge is the most popular Minecraft mod loader and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it in 2024. Now the goal of this video is to work for all of 2024, but we're releasing this at the beginning of January. How can we make sure that this is always going to work? Well, this right here in the description down below, the second link down below, is our in-depth guide on getting Forge in text format and updated video format. It will always be updated to the most recent version of Minecraft. That's true for both the video and the article. And what's really cool is if you have any issues with Forge, we're going to be going over a lot of them in this video. But if you do have any issues, right here is where you can go to get some troubleshooting help with some of the common issues you'll have with Forge. For example, Xcode 1, Xcode 0, and some other common issues. We also have frequently asked questions and all this in this article so it's super helpful, but it will always be up to date. Even if uh, this video doesn't work in the future, I expect it will, by the way. I expect it will work all through 2024 without issue, but maybe this is the year where Forge changes how it's installed majorly. We don't know that yet. So in that case, this article will be reflected to show it. But nevertheless, what you want to do is actually go to this article, the second link in the description down below. And then once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. While we're on this download page, what we want to do is select the version on the left hand side we want. Now this should work back to at least 1.12 and maybe even earlier depending and so feel free to select any version on the left hand side that is compatible with the mods you want to use. I'm actually going to go with the most recent version of Minecraft. In this case we only have download latest so we want to come under that and click installer. If you do have download recommended you could use that. Now when you click on the installer button don't click anything on this page. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. It might say to download something. Don't do that. Just wait about 10 seconds. Then click the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that, it will go ahead and start downloading Forge. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but it is 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title, which as you can see for us it is. So if Forge is in the title, you're good to keep or save this file depending on your browser. It depends on whether it's a keep or whether it's a save, but it's safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and before we install Forge, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can easily make a Forge server for you and your friends to play Forge mods together. Yes, you heard that right. You can easily set up a server to play Minecraft Forge mods with your friends at Simple Game Hosting. On top of that, there's also one-click mod pack installation. You can also add plugins to your server and truly customize your server however you want. And if you've got any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your Minecraft server with Forge mods or any mods you want the simple way. Nonetheless, Forge is going to be in our downloads folder. So let's go ahead and move it from our downloads folder to our desktop. Now, with that being said, this isn't going to live on your desktop forever. It's just going to be on your desktop while we install it to make sure we know where the file's at and can open it and all of that. Speaking of opening the file, what you want to do is right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, you want to go to the description down below and download Java. Now, right now it's Java 17, but this could change in the future if Minecraft changes the Java version it uses. So don't be alarmed if it's Java 20 or Java 21 in the future. As long as the Java version is here, it is for the most recent version of Minecraft. It is worth noting if you're using an old version of Minecraft, older than Minecraft 1.16.5, you'll actually need Java 8, which is not on this page because this is always updated to the most recent version. Nevertheless, once you've got Java, you may need to run the jar fix as well. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Finally, we'll be able to open up Forge. So right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. And now the mod system install for Forge is open. You want to make sure that both Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed at this point. If those are open, this won't work correctly. And then you want to click Install Client and click OK. Now, the only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played the version of Minecraft that you're installing Forge for. For example, if we had never played Minecraft 1.20.4 in my case, this wouldn't work. So what you want to do is open that version in the main menu. In your case, if you're installing Forge 1.12, well then you want to go play Minecraft 1.12 in the Minecraft launcher. And then once you've done that, just open it to the main menu with that version. Come back to this and you'll be able to install Forge. Now unless at this point we can go ahead and click OK, it will close out of the mod system install for Forge and we can delete this from our desktop. Now, if we open up the Minecraft launcher, we will have a Forge profile, a Forge installation that we can play. For me, this is automatically selected. You can see it's selected here. You can click this drop down if it's not here for you and click on it here 
here, but what if it's not? What if you still don't have this drop down, or if it's not the correct version of Forge here? Well, if it's not, go ahead and click on installations at the top, and then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if modded is not checked, Forge isn't there. Once you check it, there it is. You can click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the right version of Forge here, click new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, with or without mods. And then you can go ahead and click the version drop down box here. Then you want to select the Forge version from this drop down. Right here it is for me. It's at the top. But if you're in an older version of Forge, it's going to be hard to find it. Like you're going to have to scroll down and find it. Luckily, you can actually search here. So we can search for Forge. There it is. Forge is selected. I'm just going to change the resolution so you can see once we get in game. And then go ahead and click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.4 Forge or the version of Forge you're installing under it. Click play, click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and there you go. Forge is now installed. When Minecraft opens up, it'll be very apparent because you'll have a mods button on the main menu. I'll quickly show you where to put your mods, but uh, at this point, Forge is installed. So here we are, Minecraft is open, and as I said, there is a mods button here. You can also see in the bottom left to see the specific version of Forge you are using. Forge 49.0.19 for Minecraft 1.20.4. Now, if you want to add mods, what you'll want to do is actually go to this mods button here, then click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. When you do that, it's going to open your mods folder. Drag and drop any Forge mods you want into this as long as they are for the same Minecraft version that you are playing and for the Forge mod loader. There is a new mod loader called Neo Forge that was launched last year. Those mods do not work with Forge, so you need to make sure the mods you're downloading are for Forge and for the correct Minecraft version. And it must be exactly that Minecraft version. 1.20 mods, 1.20.1 mods will not work in 1.20.4. Only 1.20.4 mods will work in Minecraft 1.20.4. That little version number at the end makes a huge difference when it comes to Minecraft mods. The same is true for older versions like 1.12 mods will not work in 1.12.2, so keep that in mind as well. But nonetheless, this is where all of your Forge mods will be added. Again, assuming they are for Forge, not NeoForge, the Forge mod loader, and therefore the version of Minecraft you are playing. Then once you do that, if you come back in game, they won't be here. You'll actually need to quit Minecraft and relaunch it using that Forge installation. Just make sure every time you want to play your mods, you are launching with the Forge installation. That could be the one that you created right here, or it could be the Forge one that's there by default. Doesn't matter, but to play with your mods, you will need to launch Minecraft with Forge. And then once Minecraft launches up, the mods will be installed. But nonetheless, you now know how to download and install Forge in Minecraft in 2024. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week. We post tons of amazing Minecraft tutorials here and even specific mod videos. So if you want to know about some specific mods right when they come out and how to install them, well, subscribe because we do those videos every single week. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. We'll see you in the next video and I am out. Peace.